Well, what is up? My name is Tony, and today we are downtown. It is a perfect day to take some photos. So what I want to do is just give you a few tips and tricks on how to get better portraits. Today we are downtown, like I said, we're doing some portrait stuff. Somebody, my buddy David, called me up and said, hey, uh, can you take some photos of me? So I figured, let's just do a little vlog about it. And so I'm gonna give you a few tips that I've learned over the years when I've taken portraits. He used the word headshot, which is something that you really need to clarify with your client beforehand, because he didn't want headshot, he wanted portraits. And so just having that upfront conversation is the first step that you need to do, figure out what kind of photos they want before you start snapping, because you don't want to deliver something that's not right. All right, so here's a few tips that I go into any portrait shoot with. Let's get into it. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Thank you, How you doing? I'm well, I'm This well. is my buddy, David. We're gonna take some photos today. Yes, boom. <laughs> All right, so tip number one is for you to control the situation. And what I mean by that is you pick the location, you pick the time of day. Uh, right now, we're actually in the middle of the day. It is 12 o'clock right now, but because of this rain and this mist, I decided let's just do it in the middle of the day because it looks so awesome. If you get really nice lighting, then you don't have to worry about messing with extra things like flashes and whatnot. So that's my first tip. You control the situation. If they say, hey, I want to shoot at whatever park, well, then you say that's fine, but then you go there early and you scout out some really good places, but it's really important that you control the time of the day. So we'll get a couple here and then maybe we'll get some like gritty, like I'm thinking like almost alley looking stuff. Oh yeah, there it is. This is city. Hold on. Just waiting for stuff to happen. You good? All right. Give me like over the top laugh. <laughs> All right. The next thing I want to talk through is some of the gear that you can be using. Now, Camera really doesn't matter. Really, when it comes to bodies, the biggest difference is how much you're getting paid. If you uh, are getting paid a lot of money, obviously you should probably be using at least a full frame, maybe a high megapixel camera, but to be honest, even a Canon SL2, you can get amazing portraits with. Let's talk about lenses real quick. If I am shooting, um, any kind of person with like a portrait look, I typically go telephoto. So you can either use the 70 to 200. Today we're using the 85 1.4. Another lens that is really good but fairly cheap is the uh, 100 millimeter. You can even use like a like a crop sensor, like an, a 55 to 250. Just crank that thing out, and you'll get some nice nice background blur, and it'll look really good. When it comes to flashes, I typically don't use flashes if you've got good light. If you're shooting in a day like this when everything is nice and soft, you just don't need to use a flash. You can to get a different look, but that's just more equipment that you have to bring with you. I try and keep it light and uh, just make it happen. That's really all the equipment that you need for a good portrait or headshot. The reason I'm doing it like this is because you're so tall. I know it, I know it. I already, <laughs> I already it. A little bit more towards me. Look up that way though still. Let's cross the street. All right, my next tip is to pick your background that matches the feeling or look that you're trying to achieve. So he called me up and said that he wants kind of urban gritty looks. So we did a couple on a busy city street, but then we also did some in this alley, which is, to be honest, kind of gnarly. But you can position the, the subject, you can make it look however you want, especially with that blurry background, you can make some really cool looking photos if you determine what the background is. So think through what you're trying to achieve with your photo and then pick your background accordingly. All right, man, yep. thanks so much, appreciate you. Mm. Yep. All right, and the last thing that I wanna talk about is how to position your subject. So when I am uh, taking photos of someone, most of the time they walk up to the camera and they stand like this. And the first thing I'll say is move your shoulders. And whichever side of the lens they're on, if they're on this side, then you wanna have them move their shoulder back like this. If they're on the other side, you wanna have them move their shoulder like this. And what this does is it adds in more dynamics with their body, especially women. That's a really important thing. Make sure you twist their body a little bit. It kinda hides things that women just don't really like seeing. When it's really flat like this, it just isn't a good picture. Another thing that you wanna watch for when you're positioning them is make sure that there's not something weird around their head. We got a bus. Hold on one second. Hi, bus. 
It'll just save you time in the end when you're trying to mask around things. Just think through what's around their head when you're positioning them. Another thing is just have them be a little goofy. Have them laugh out loud. Have them just be a little silly because that's going to help them loosen up so that you can get some better shots. All right, guys. Well, it's starting to rain more, so I think I'm going to finish this video. But if you've got any questions or comments that you want to address, feel free to drop a line in the comment section. If this video has helped you, make sure to like it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. We're having a lot of fun on this channel and uh, I'm just excited to see what happens. By the way, today we've been shooting on the EOS R for the portraits and the EOS R for this video. So, all right guys, have a good week.